840 on this Wednesday, November 8th. Good morning. I'm Tori in studio. My special guest, Linda Storley. How are you? I'm so good. I'm so excited. Are you excited? I'm always excited to be here. And it's a perfect time of year. So It is a perfect time of year. I haven't seen you since July. Yes. Uh, and now we have something brand new to talk about. It is, uh, well, first of all, you're a board member, your school board member. And you are all about Castaic High. It, it's coming, it's coming, it's it coming. It really is. I heard so, that for like 10 years <laughs> before I ever got on the board, and I thought, uh, you know, uh, so is Christmas, but, you know, Christmas well, at least comes once a year. Well, you know, Linda, t- to be honest with you, when I first moved, uh, I moved from the Valley 20 years ago, yes. and the first pl- place uh, my husband and I looked, this is before I had kids, anything, right, uh, was Castaic. And uh, there were some beautiful homes, and we go up this the hill, and the realtor's showing and saying, oh, in the next couple of years, this will be where our high school will be. And this was... <laughs> <laughs> this was 20 years ago. So um, so tell me, what's going on, and, and how excited are you? Get, fill me in. Okay, well, f- first, I was excited when we first were going to build one up there, and, and I'm kind of like you. I have, I have been, I am a realtor, and, and I don't say, by the way, this is going to be here in two years, because I know that two years turns out to be 10. But when I first ran for the school board, that was, that was my number one thing. I want to get Castaic High School up and running. And at that point, we had bare ground, and that was 2015 in November. Um, it's just amazing. It's it, first. It's it's amazing to go up there. And if your audience hasn't seen it, they can go to our website, the Heart District website, and look at the drone. There's drone flights uh, that are done about every other week. Look and at you, can, you getting all fancy. Oh, it's it's just it's just amazing to watch. And then, luckily, as a board member, because you can't quite maneuver your way up there, uh, and my Corvette just kind of, you know, d- bottoms out <laughs> on the first bump, but uh, been up there a few times. First, it's it's going to open. Mm-hmm. It's going to open in fall 2019 with our first class of ninth graders. They will actually graduate in 2023, and, and it's going to be open. And I was up there a few weeks ago, but I've looked at the new drone. It's amazing. The, they... they th- I don't know a lot about construction, but they pour the walls and then they raise them. Mm -hmm. And we have almost all of the 227 walls raised. The the Performing Arts Building... Is just going to be um, just amazing, and then we have different different buildings that have ways of changing. So if if today this is what we need, that's fine. But if two years from now this is the the direction that uh, career paths are going, these buildings are changeable, where you don't have to knock down walls and do things. But but basically, I'm so excited because they kept saying it was going to be there, and then it nothing happened and they said it was going to be there and nothing happened and now it's just amazing please please have your listeners please go to the heart high school um, website and look for the drone pictures because they're just just awesome now it, up until now uh the, anybody living in castaic uh high schoolers have had to come to different high schools i know uh, a lot went to west ranch did they uh, you know did kind of everybody go in a different direction and and here's the, the problem that i've found when i went up to castaic and talked to parents they've got one child in elementary school one child in the middle school then they had to take a different child to a junior high which was Rio Norte most of the time Um, and then they had a choice of West Ranch or Valencia at a certain time when West Ranch was low so you have moms going from seven o'clock in the morning it doesn't get done dropping them off until noon and then she has to go and start again and sometimes we had siblings at different high schools for different reasons really bad and Valencia has too many students in it, in my opinion, um, and that needs to be, uh, when Castaic opens, it'll all even out and be really nice. And and the culture of, ca- our little different communities have different cultures, and to preserve that culture, which is a, a, a more open um, farms and, I, I saw <laughs> 
I saw a llama up there the other day, and I thought it was a very, very sad-looking horse. I'm looking at it from a distance, and I'm thinking, <laughs> that horse is really sway back. And I get up there, and there's llamas. It's it's a different community, mm-hmm. and therefore has a different culture, and they're going to have their own high school. And they're going to have their own high school. So what do you think is going to be, um, I don't know if you know numbers uh, yet, but looking at 2019, the class of 2023, what, what are we looking at as far as maybe class numbers? Number. We'll probably start out the ninth grade with about 600. Oh, so it's gonna, yeah. that's, that's, yeah, that's nice and big. Yeah, it's nice and big. Then, then once they move up to the ninth grade, then we bring another 600 in and, and move on. And of course, there will be, um, ways of keeping siblings together if they want to and they're already on a path at another school we're going to try to accommodate that but by the time that the first class graduates we'll have a full and it's a huge high school I mean it's really really big in comparison to Valencia West Ranch what do you think the yeah the the footprint of it Mm -hmm. is is many more acres and it's more spread out because it didn't have to get built between homes and um They've got a football field and a baseball field, and a and the performing arts center will be absolutely as nice as Saugus and Canyons, if if not better, because new things get developed all the time. But it's uh, it's going to be a dream school. And what about what about football, Linda? Um, oh, what about? Are we gonna, well, because right now all the games are usually played at Valencia. They will have a beautiful stadium, and so like to bleachers to sit yes, and to have yes. a, to have a game. Yes, it, it okay. will be there. And and for a long time, you're right. Hart didn't have because Hart got to use um, COC. But now we're going to have all, all the schools are except Hart is COC. I mean those those are together. But but the schools have have stadiums and the the games that really need the big 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 stadiums we can still use COC. We, Absolutely, we have a nice relationship with them. Love COC, and we're going to have some new things. That I've got 5.5 miles of plumbing. I'm sure we're not that interested in that but we have career it's kind of interesting well, though. It is, you know, five miles of plumbing five That's miles of 5.5 <laughs> miles of underground plumbing <laughs> and approximately sixty-four thousand hours of labor to get this just to get the plumbing in um we're going to have a, a rigorous ac- academic program like we do at all schools but this school is going to particularly look at career paths and we're looking at having um some sort of a, a connection with COC. They're also a little like the AOC campus that is on the COC campus. Sure. So some college classes will be mingled in there, and kids can go to a college class and then back to their regular math class or whatever, and they're going to be able to come out with a, an amazing education. I'm, I'm so excited that this is going to happen before I'm dead. <clears throat> <laughs> a little levity. A little, uh, uh, you know, you, ne- you never know. You never know. <laughs> I, I've been telling people that ask me while I was teaching at Canyon, when's Cast Day going to open? And I'm saying, well, some, some 2010, 2013, you know, and, and here we're going to actually, we have a date. 2019. 2019, and I'm going to make it through the opening of that, I promise. We, we actually have a countdown calendar on our website, okay. on hometownstation.com. You know, the yeah, the, the uh, tick, 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 tick. We actually have one of those. So. That's that's nice. Well, yeah. it's gonna it's gonna open, and what's gonna be nice about this, like it with AOC, is some of the people are going to be able to graduate with a degree from the high school district and an AA degree at the same time. That's amazing. When I was at uh, AOC for their graduation, there were several students that had earned three AA degrees the night before they graduated from high school. Which is what? What an amazing place to go from! And then you can go decide to be, you know, a rock star, and then you still can come back. And you already are a rock star <laughs> if you graduate with an AA yes, from yes. your high school. That you're already, you, uh, you know, head and shoulders, and 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 you've already started. You're well on your way. That's an amazing thing, Linda Storley. Always a pleasure. Well, I love always being a, here. Always a pleasure. Come back um, soon and tell us uh, about the drones and how we can see. By the way, tell us again how we can see the pictures from okay. the drones. You can go to the Heart District. That's www.heartdistrict.org, mm-hmm. and then put in drone, or you can Google it and put in Heart 
Hart High School drone castaic, and you can see the drone flights, and they're done. They're done pretty, pretty regularly because we're pretty excited how fast it's going now. For a while, it seemed to go slow, and then all of a sudden, there's buildings up and and paths there, and and uh, the drone is a really cool thing to look at. So it's maybe, a very cool thing to look at. Maybe I want to see. Maybe you can put it on your website and and see maybe how a link. To get to, yes, a li a maybe link, a link. A link mm. next to the uh, next to the the countdown. That sounds good. I have lo lots of pictures, but there's also pictures on our website. Uh, it's it's going to be an amazingly beautiful campus. Uh, I used to think that Canyons was the prettiest campus because, you know, I was there and it looked pretty. But well, because that's where your heart was. Well, 30 years, you, you know. But this is going to look like a beautiful, beautiful college setting. And uh, I, I envy the first class to be there because it's going to be so much fun. And it's going to be special for so many reasons. Usually, you know, that first graduating class, they're o you know, it's always special. The first principal, the yes. first, you know, the first of everything. It's always so special in a brand new school. Linda, come back and update us periodically Absolutely. because it's, it's now... Then, then, of course, we go through Christmas, and we do, uh, my husband, Dennis Kuntz, and I do uh, a Mr. and Mrs. for charity around town, and then we start back with the 4th of July parade. Well, you're going to come back, absolutely, before the holidays. Absolutely. Linda, always a pleasure. Thank you so much for stopping by.